teaching take and give as the first part of an assistance dog retrieve. There are several parts to a formal service dog retrieve. Key parts are take, hold, and give. Because service dogs are required to take and hold smaller fragile objects and place them in a specific location, with partners who may have limited use of their hands, it is important to train precise take and give behaviors. Choose objects that are safe and comfortable texture and diameter for your dog to hold and that you can easily replace if it gets bitten. I use a piece of plastic hula hoop, a knotted sheet, and a sock. A wooden dowel, hard cardboard roll, piece of rubber hose, a dumbbell, or a tightly rolled newspaper might work as well. The take. Since your dog needs to pick objects off the floor and take them from your hand, you can start with the object in either location. Click for any interaction at first, looking, head dip, sniffing, and shape towards the dog taking the object in her mouth. Ignore a paw touch as you don't want to reinforce that behavior. Once the dog is predictably picking up the object, start adding the cue just before she does the behavior. Hold the same object in your hand and reshape the behavior. This prepares her for delivery of the object to your hand. Add the cue when the behavior is predictable as before. Practice with several hard objects before training increasingly softer objects. A dumbbell is easy for a dog to pick up off the floor. It is also ideal to teach holding an object in its center. A rubber hose needs more deliberate thought to pick up with her canines. Review taking from hand. Train with soft yet firm materials. This knotted rope is firm yet softer than any she has handled before in this training context. As the objects get softer, there's more tendency to want to play with them. You can see Lucy's tail wagging more now as an early indication of this. Q is added back in. Hey. Hold the object and reshape as before. Introducing soft objects. It might be a good idea to start with holding soft or delicate objects. Since most dogs would rather play with them as they resemble toys, this needs to be addressed in training. Lucy steps on this sock and later shakes it. In the beginning, I click even though she does this unwanted behavior. This helps start her with the new object. I can focus on phasing out each unwanted behavior over time. If she is trying to pick it up and is learning how to step off it, I click. But if she digs, shakes, or chews it, I will withhold my click and present it to her to try again. Add the cue back in when she's reliable. Hey. Hey. No click here because she shook the object. Hey. Tips for mobility impaired. If you are limited to a chair, it may be easiest to start by holding the object. Then place the object on a grooming table or crate. Experiment with the location of your chair to make sure the object placement and treat delivery is comfortable for you and safe for your dog. The give. When first training the give cue, stop using the take cue. The click tells the dog to let go, so cue give just before you click. Thank you. Thank you. 
I start waiting until she lets go before clicking. Thank you. With practice, fade the clicker. The cue alone should get the dog to release the object. Location of delivery. If a handler has hand strength or dexterity issues, placing objects in a specific location is an essential skill for their dog. At first, I bring my hand to meet her mouth. As we train, I drop my hand so she has to move her mouth part way toward my hand. Then she places it directly in my hand. Vary the angle and position of your hand from your body. Switch hands and start again. She places it in the middle of my stomach, so I let it drop to tell her that's not what I'm looking for, and she replaces it in my hand. If trained early on, the delivery becomes a default behavior when you add duration, distance, etc. Watch for our next video on teaching the hold.